Hello and welcome to part 3 of the series on chest x-rays. In today's case we want to have a look at this patient's lung. What we can see here is multiple large and well circumscribed consolidations in all fields of the both lungs. This we call cannonball metastasis. This is most commonly seen in renal cell carcinoma and choriocarcinoma. Other less common primary tumors are prostate carcinoma, endometrial carcinoma, synovial carcinoma and adrenal carcinoma. But usually when you see cannonball metastasis you should immediately think about renal cell carcinoma as it's the most common of these cancers. In a chest x-ray we also always want to make sure to have a look at the other structures. So we see here that the aorta and the heart are of regular size. We also see that the patient does not have calcifications in the aorta, which is a sign that the patient is not so old yet. But in elderly patients we usually see here in the aortic knuckle calcification. We can also see that we do not see degenerative changes in the patient's skeletal system. So also this indicates that the patient is probably quite young. What we also see is that here the costophrenic angles are sharp, so we don't see a pleural effusion. In radiology we usually observe different rules, like the rule of symmetry, and also that it's more difficult to see things that are absent. So it's important that we don't give in to this satisfaction of search, that we see for example a pathology immediately, but that we're always sure to double check all of the things that are seen in the image. So in every chest x-ray we want to have a look at the bones, we want to have a look at the mediastinum and also if we have parts of the abdomen in the image we want to make sure to not miss any pathologies in the abdomen. For example in some patients we might see a crescent shaped air trapping under the diaphragm. This is a sign for free air in the abdomen and we want to make sure not to miss it. But do not confuse it with the air here under the left diaphragm because this is the so-called stomach bubble. That's it for today and thank you for watching.